Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and in this video I will show you how a returning customer or a simple customer can buy a product okay so what you have to do if you are using Chrome then you have to come here click here and click new incognito window because we will use private window and everything will be different from us okay so what I have to do I'll click here new private window okay and now what I have to do I have to enter my URL which will be one-stop shop okay and I am in the home page of one-stop shop where we have product categories which is mobile and we have our iPhone 6 which has one dollar discount okay so what I'll do I'll just click add to cart the person likes this okay the person when the person will visit the home page the main page you can see we have our this main stock and it is in stock we have our SKU and the category which is Apple then we have our product description this is okay so this is very large and we have our reviews so we don't have any reviews yet okay now we have our $599 we have our discount and we have our this when I will move to view cart okay I have now this iPhone 6 by now which is $599 and we have free shipping because I defined it here like let me go to WooCommerce settings I just really want to clarify the shipping rates because this is somehow very confusing okay so free shipping and here we have method availability specific countries and minimum order amount this so if $299 is exceeding then the person can go with the free shipping and if it's $699 okay and then when I will save the change and I will move to this the person when we refresh I'll see oh my god where is the free shipping but we he has the local pickup which is free it's because uh, he is in United Kingdom okay so I am cur I'm currently using the browser with the United Kingdom okay so when I will remove the local pickup okay when I will change it to something like United States like when I will use the United States and I will save the changes and when I will refresh this the local pickup will, will also be gone oh now the person has to pay nine dollars more okay so he has to pay six zero eight dollar and we are charging him by shipping class so when I will increase the product amount like when I will increase it update cart and it is 198 okay so it is exceeding 699 dollar we added before here like uh, free shipping it is exceeding so let me change it to 999 sorry and because I don't I want to clarify the flat rate option to you guys okay so now when I will refresh we I will be having only one option which is flat rate okay so the person has to pay 199 and his shipping cost is nine dollar because we have our only one shipping class here when I will increase the product I will also have nine dollar and this is not increasing the reason behind that is when I will go to the flat rate and I am charging the users with only per class okay so what I will do when I will use the per item the user the person has to pay three times nine so it will be nine one nine two thirteen and three are twenty seven he has to pay twenty seven dollars okay so now when I will refresh it is twenty seven so now I'm charging it him by per item okay so I can even charge him by per order and the per order rate refresh 
and it is 9 okay so when I will add some more times like 3 5 then it won't go beyond dollar nine okay so it's a great way to change your everything but I don't think so if you should go with per item because the per item would be a lot but many people do charge for per item just be with per class okay so now you guys must have got the idea behind it about how the shipping cost will work okay so now in the next video we will just proceed to check out and we will create an account and we will also see about how the product will look so stay tuned and goodbye